One more quote from The Art of War. The skillful strategist defeats the enemy without doing battle, captures the city without laying the siege, overthrows the enemy without protracted war. On The Art of War, do not advance uphill. Do not oppose an enemy with the back to a hill. Do not pursue an enemy feigning flight. Do not attack keen troops. Do not swallow a bait. Do not thwart a returning army. Leave a passage for a besieged army. Do not press an enemy at bay. This is the art of war. Okay, so this is a little bit like Wu Wei defeats the enemy without doing battle. So, without doing a single thing. Uh, this is a Taoist quote, it's something like this, it's from the Tao Te Ching. He who seeks to learn, who he seeks learning, increases his knowledge daily. He who seeks Tao diminishes doing daily. He diminishes and diminishes until finally he arrives at the point of no action. When he arrives at the point of no action, there is nothing in which he does not do. He receives all under heaven without any, without any trouble, partaking any trouble on his end. If he partakes any trouble, he is not worthy of all under heaven. So... Taoism is very, very much about letting go, not doing, letting things happen by themselves. But when it comes to the art of war, it's saying defeats the enemy or achieve what you want to achieve without having to struggle and fight, without having to do battle. You know, maybe there's better ways of achieving things or you want to achieve what you want to achieve without having to fight and hustle and struggle. And Okay, it captures the city without laying siege. Overthrows the enemy without protracted war. On the art of war, do not advance uphill. Do not oppose an enemy with his back to a hill. If you fight uphill, you know, it's a losing, it's very likely to be a losing ground. You're fighting uphill, or enemy is fighting downhill. It's not as easy for you. Um, if you fight an enemy with his back to a hill, it means if you go there, then you have then you have to go up, and you're going to be in a bad position later. So it is keeping these things in mind, carefulness. Uh, you know this can cost lives. This can cost you failures. Uh, do not pursue an enemy feigning flight. Do not attack keen troops. How many times do you, you know, you not take awareness of this if you're gonna have a fight with someone but they really really desperate and wanting to fight you it's likely that you know this is not the right this is not the right thing to do you're gonna end up in a really big fight if you're gonna uh, fight people that are really desperate to fight better to stay away from people that are desperate to fight and hurt you um do not pursue an enemy feigning flight if they're like pretending to leave or looking like they're gonna leave or whatever you know is that is that um and then you're gonna have to end up chasing them and then that's gonna be like you know um situation where you don't have the upper hand and there's do not swallow a bait do not thwart a returning army. Be a passage for a besieged army. All these things are about being careful. Do not swallow a bait. Someone's trying to bait you. You know, don't swallow it. Uh, do not press an enemy at bay. If someone's in the position where they have to have to fight, then they're going to fight. So don't press them in this position. It'd, it'd be better to have them to have success without any of these costs. So in life, in different situations, where are you going to be defeating an enemy without doing battle? Getting what you want without having to struggle or hustle or 
Fight.